Uh, I'm gonna make a video uh, this time, like a video blog. You might even call it a, a vlog. Whole, uh, whole new revolutionary thing. Just uh, doing developer progress, really. Uh, so yeah. You know, this, uh, doing more UI ain't very easy. It's kind of kind of a pain in the ass, I'll be honest. But uh, hopefully, it'll it'll look passable. That's the hope. Also, been tweaking with some some shaders. For example, here we got uh, two images. Uh, this one's the original, and this one is the one I'm running shaders on. It's, it's a background wallpaper thingy. It's, it's pretty neat. So, for example, I can like set the uh, luminosity or lumacy or whatever you want to call it component to a constant uh, with a little gamma correction there, so it looks right. And we extract the color component, so you can. See, interestingly, there's, this is just the raw color from it. It's rather interesting to look at because certain details are lost, like that right there. And you start seeing new things like this thing. It kind of becomes a bit blobbish. So, yeah, it's neat things you can do. Uh, I had to learn a bit of shader code and was a it's pain in the ass. Some I also can do is like implement a strange hue shift thingy that tries to match the hue to a target color. Uh, I, I don't have it working quite right, unfortunately, because uh, the way I've implemented the colors, you know, it loops around, but it doesn't know that, so. It's a little difficult to think about, but I don't really need this thing. It's just kind of a kind of a cool effect to do. And uh yeah. Gives a good demo a little bit of the UI if I run it. Actually that does remind me the uh the console system is of course pretty much the same as in uh, SSTD where it's literally just a raw Lua interface. Now there are definitely some disadvantages to this approach. For example security. Well I kinda you can just do like IO.open and then and then just execute whatever function I really want, but uh, you could say that's bad security, but you kind of have to intentionally type stuff in here, you know. Uh, but it makes my job as a developer really easily, because you can just type something in here. Like uh, that, and just teleport around if I really want. So yeah kind of move around a bit. Uh, this looks a little janky, I know, sometimes, this text. I'm not entirely sure why it does that, but none of the other visuals are really like that, so I don't really know why that is. So you can see some Moyer, Moyer patterns on the wall, but whatever, it's it's an artifact. You know, it's the best I can do. I've, uh, Got a decent little bit over here, actually. Yeah, this this place. Uh, cool design choice I did with the buildings. I think is the areas you can walk in have no top roofing to them, but like this area is closed off. You can't go into there. I think that's a. Why not trap myself in a building? Funny. Uh, let's do that. There we go. I'm avoiding walking over here since I. I do force a dialogue at the start of the game, which isn't ideal, but I can't really think of a better way to do it, I'll be honest. And, you know, if it, if it works, it works, so I can't really 
fault myself for that. As long as I can think of a better solution. There's a little, little sneak peek at the menu. Uh, just, just whatever. It's still a work in progress, but it's mostly functional, actually. Uh, so that's really all about I have to say. It's there's progress going on, so it's uh, it's pretty cool, and that's about it.